Welcome back to Let's Get Cooking. It's your girl Rashida and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious enchilada casserole. That's right. But first, have you subscribed? If not, please click the subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. First, I'm just grinding up my ground beef. I'm browning my ground beef, cooking it up. I have about a pound and a half. You can use about a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef or ground turkey or you can use some ground chicken. And I'm gonna cook this first. Here, I wanna add in my seasonings to flavor the meat. Um, I'm using a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of cumin, and some garlic powder. Plus, I'm gonna use a whole taco seasoning pack. Now, you, you can find these in any store, but just your regular taco seasoning packet. I wanna go ahead and add that to the meat just to enhance and give it extra flavor. So those are the seasonings that I'm using. Um, and I'm gonna add those now and let those begin to cook into the ground beef. While my meat was halfway done, I went ahead and added in about a half a cup of diced onions and let that cook in with the ground beef. Here it is all finished. It's done. And you see that extra fat, that extra oil on it? I'm going to drain that. Definitely drain off that extra fat and extra oil. We don't need it. Um, I think this was like an 80-20 ground beef. So it had like 20% fat. You can definitely use a leaner uh what is it like 90 10 or something to that nature um here's my meat after it has the oil has been extracted off of it it is ready to add in now the black beans i added a whole can of black beans you can definitely use reduced sodium if you don't want that extra salt that's fine then i added in a couple diced tomatoes um, what I would suggest, if you don't want to use fresh diced tomatoes, you can use a can of petite diced tomatoes, or I think is a brand called Rotelli, and it's diced tomatoes with green chilies. So that'll probably definitely enhance the flavor if you use a can of that uh, Rotelli diced tomatoes with the green chilies also. Here I'm giving everything a stir, and the next ingredient that I'm going to add is can enchilada sauce now you can find this in your store just uh, maybe in the spanish or mexican food aisle there is enchilada sauce i bought two 10 ounce cans and i would get the medium spice if if they have it and i want to use about a half a cup of the sauce right now so i'm using a half a cup of the enchilada sauce and mixing that in with the ground beef the black beans and tomatoes to go ahead and give it some extra enchilada flavor so we're just making a filling for the casserole at this time and once i added that sauce gave it a stir and just let that cook for a little bit now to the fun part, it's time to assemble the casserole. I'm not making enchiladas, that's different. That's where you take your filling, you roll it up in a corn tortilla shell, you roll it, put in a casserole dish, pour sauce over, pour cheese. I'm not doing actual enchiladas, even though I do make those at home. Chicken enchiladas to be exact, those are great. Um, I'm doing a casserole, so with the casserole, I wanna layer the ingredients. So we can cut into it and it's just like a casserole dish. So I'm using tortillas, um, about a dozen tortillas, corn tortillas, not flour, but corn. And I'm dipping that into that enchilada sauce that I told you that you can buy over, over the counter at the store. And I'm just dipping my shells into the sauce. I did put a little sauce, as you saw, at the bottom of the casserole dish just so it won't be dry once it all cooks it won't be dry and stick to the bottom you want to add some sauce just a little bit to the bottom of the casserole dish and then you start adding in your layer of four 
tortillas once they're coated in the sauce and then we can start adding in half of our filling our ground beef mixture and put about half of that in there for that uh, first layer just want to get that make sure it covers the tortillas well and after that the process is going to be to add some cheese I'm using a sharp cheddar Monterey Jack you can use Kobe Jack um, but those are the three main cheeses that you want to use and this is about two and a half cups two and a half to three cups of cheese in totality in total <laughs> for this uh, dish so I'm adding in half of my cheese or some of my cheese and then repeat so I'm gonna just let you all watch the process um, as I finish putting it together finish assembling the casserole Isn't that fun now you know how to do it finally I'm adding on some green scallions some green onions I love the flavor of green onions so I'm gonna add in probably about two to three green onions just cut those up add them on top and it's optional but I also added in on some black olives because I enjoy black olives I like black olives I think they just make it taste like an enchilada. So just a small can, about a half a um, quarter cup of black olives. Just put those on top too before it goes in the oven. It is going in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Um, I did cover it up with foil, loosely covered so that the foil, the cheese doesn't stick to the foil and let that cook for 45 minutes 
And just like that, my enchilada casserole is finished. It is hot. It is ready to be eaten. I will let it cool off for about 10 minutes. It's hot, fresh, and ready. Thanks for coming to the kitchen. Thanks for cooking with me. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. Until the next video, I'll see you soon. Take care.